Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you our Windows Server 2022 template that we've just released. Um, so basically this is good if you just want to deploy Windows Server 2022 really quickly in Proxmox. So how do we get this template first of all and then how do we actually get it imported into Proxmox into a so-called template or in this case a backup as a VZ dump file and then restore it. For your needs today I'm going to be going over that in the video uh, so obviously let's get started so if you go to the link in the description below you'll see a page like this obviously we've only got two Windows templates on here so far Windows 11 and obviously the new server 2022 template uh, but we obviously have our Mac OS ones if you want to get Mac OS up and running on Proxmox obviously please visit the channel where there's plenty of those there and um, so on this new template, if we click on that, you'll see uh, that we get two options. So, if you are a torrenter, you can download it via torrent, or you can download it via the actual file. So, I'll show you um, the torrent way today, but if you download the file, from here is pretty much the same. You're just going to skip all the steps um, that involve the transmission CLI uh, torrent client, um, but I'll just show you today. So if you go to the other link in the description, you'll see a page like this. Um, so this walks through how to transfer a template over to Proxmox. Um, you can see you select one. It looks a touch different here, uh, but you need to download WinSCP if you're on Windows. If you're on Linux or macOS, you just use the SCP command. If you put how to transfer a file over from macOS or from Linux to Linux, um, using SCP, there'll be a command that you can just uh, substitute the values for. But it'll show you how to get this sorted. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera because there is a guide that you can follow, again, in the description below. Um, so I'll meet you on this page where we actually see our backups. Just to note on this part, you can see I've transferred the torrent file. If you download it directly, you're going to transfer that VZ dump file in that dump directory. Uh, I've just transferred the torrent file. I'll explain more about that in a moment. Now we need to go to the Proxmox web UI and then type a few commands in. If you're not using um, a torrent, uh, you can basically skip right to the uh, step where you go to restore it, uh, which will be later in this video. You can also follow the guide if you would like to skip ahead. So back in the Proxmox web UI, if we go to uh, local, backups, your template may be there. If you've downloaded the file, the template will be there and you can go to restore. Now, there is obviously the optional step, so if we do it via torrent, all we need to do is the following commands. Again, these will be in the description below. cd forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash vz forward slash dump enter and then do control L to clear. LS, you can see HSV Win Server 2022 template torrent. If I then do apt get update, you can see the update there. If it doesn't update successfully, make sure to disable your enterprise repository and then add the no subscription one. Once it's updated though, um, you want to do apt get install transmission cli dash y and you can see that's installed now if we ls if we do transmission dash cli hs and then press tab then press enter that'll begin to download the torrent and um, so it's a transmission client but for cli uh, depending on obviously your internet speed depends on how long it's going to take Again, I'm just going to wait for this to finish. Um, I've got quite quick internet, um, but yours might take, obviously, longer, depending on how far away you are from our seeders uh, and peers. Uh, if you would like to become a peer, uh, please do, and let me know in the Discord. I'd much appreciate that. Um, but you can see we're downloading now, uh, and I'll be back in a moment once we've finished downloading. So you can see that's downloaded now. It's on the uploading stage and it's seeding. If we do control C and then give it a moment, LS, you'll see um, in a moment it's um, 
it's saved under forward slash root for some reason. Um, what I'll do, just give me a moment, let me locate that file and I'll show you where that is. So if we do um, cd squiggly line ls, there's a downloads folder, cd into that. You'll see hsv win server, cd into that, ls. You see that there? We're going to do mv forward slash at the start I mean and then space forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash vz forward slash dump enter now if we go to local you can see that the backup is now there obviously you don't need to do that if you've directly downloaded and um, it'll just simply appear there once you drop it in the dump directory now we're ready to restore our template so if we click on the template click on restore select where we want it to be stored give it a name, more resources, and then click on restore. So that's going to restore now, depending on the disk speed, depends on how long it's going to take. Uh, so this template is 5 gigabytes in size, that means that the virtual disk is 120 gigabytes, but it's a, at a thin um, medium, so it's only 5 gigabytes that's going to get used up, uh, but 120 has been sort of allocated to the virtual machine. Um, so what I'll do, I'll wait for that and then I'll be back with you shortly once uh, we're at 100%. So you can see it says task OK which means it's finished. So if we go to HSVW2K22, um, you can see we've got two disks. We've got an IDE0 disk and I, uh, sorry, and a SCSI disk. If we go to PVE and then do nano, oops. Forward slash etc, forward slash pve, forward slash queuing new server, forward slash, and then the VM ID. For me, it's 100, so I'm going to do 100 and then press tab dot conf. Enter. And we're just changing ID 0 from cache unsafe to media equals cd rom. And then doing control x, y, and enter. And now you can see it's changed into a DVD drive. If we go to console now and set up the virtual machine. In a few moments you should see that Windows will start to load up. You can see now it's asking us to um, enter an admin password, so let's do so. Now it's going to finalise the settings and then shortly we'll be on the Windows server lock screen. Now it looks a lot like Windows 10. Um, but it has obviously got the kernels for Windows 11. Um, if we open the side menu and click Control Alt Delete, and then put our password in, give it a few moments, uh, we'll be on Windows Server 2022. And you can see we're on the desktop. Server Manager will launch at um, startup by default, but again, I won't go into that today. So that's Windows Server 2022 as a template on Proxmox. If you did like this video, please do make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Uh, and also consider joining the Discord server if you need any help with these templates. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. Goodbye.